We all know the I have a dream speech. But I'd like to remind you guys that that speech was given in the 60s. We're in 2023 right now. So I'm going to ask you all a question. Did Martin's dream come true? Some say no. Some say it's better than it was. I heard not fully. Still working. Still working. Right. So I'm glad you said that. Because in the conversation I had with my father, I told him this. If a dream stays on the pillow, it dies. It's just a dream. It's just hoopla. The word of God says, faith, if it hath not works, is what? It's dead. If we don't live out the dream every day in our everyday actions, then Martin was just talking. Racism is like a stench. You can put on deodorant. You can use sprays, oils, lotions. It'll smell good for a second. But as everybody knows, it comes back. Eventually, you got to get in the shower. And you can't put on lotion and deodorant and say, I'm clean. You have to continue to work and strive for this equity and equality. We have to look at racism and prejudice as a sin issue. Because the way that you can combat sin, and we go right back to them, is the Lord. We associate in society melanin skin with trauma and poverty. If you think that you come from a slave, you're a descendant of a slave, everything you do that is not slavery will look like an overachievement. Will look like at least I'm not a slave. But I come to tell all of you, I don't come from slaves, I come from enslaved. There's a difference. See, if I'm a slave, I'm subject to poor treatment. I'm subject to supremacy. But if I'm enslaved, my body is what's going through the trouble. My mind is what's free. I used to hear growing up that I had to be twice as good to get just as far. I don't see that in the word. I don't measure myself against other people. I like to take this a step further and say, this night was to honor King, Martin Luther King. But I'm sure he would agree, and I'll push it a step further and say, honor the king. Because Luke wasn't trying to be like Peter. Paul wasn't trying to be like John. The word says, let this mind be in you that's also in who? Amen. So that is who we judge ourselves against. Every person in this room. And when we talk about equality, it's that all of us is able to use our gifts unhinged and unhindered for Christ. So I like to end with this. I love the call and response to the crowd. If you know the song, then sing along. If you don't, then listen to the person next to you. Everybody ready? Okay. Let the church say. Let the church say. Let the church say. Y'all can do better than that. Amen. Amen. Everybody say. Everybody say. Let the church say.
Thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, I can